Hello, this is Amber and I am a yoga instructor at the University of Cincinnati and today we're going to be doing a bedtime relaxation yoga. So get into something comfy, um, bring some fuzzy socks if you wish because we're not doing any standing poses today so you can actually wear socks today and it'll be perfectly safe. Um, so come over to your yoga mat, which honestly you probably could even do this practice in your bed if you want to. So if anybody tries doing this practice in bed, um, comment below and let us know how that went for you, if that's something that you enjoyed. Um, otherwise, um, some things to have are, go ahead and get your blankets, get your pillows for this one. Um, yoga blanket or any even just blankets from your bed anything goes here i have a couple of pillows here so you can grab some pillows if you have a yoga bolster then that's great you could grab murphy wants my yoga bolster but you could grab your yoga bolster but if not again the pillows should work just fine um so no worries another thing our blocks can be helpful if you have yoga blocks two yoga blocks would be great to have but if you don't have blocks um they're good just use what you have if you have like some large books or anything like that or just bring some extra blankets and pillows and we can use those um, as a stand-in for the blocks as well the final thing is a i have a strap here so we'll be playing around with the strap a little bit as well but if you don't have the strap um, you could use just like a scarf or a belt or a similar object like that. And if you don't have any of those things, don't worry about it. You can still do the pose that we're using this for without any props at all. That's just another option to have. So let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat. It can be very mellow, chill practice tonight. For when you're winding down from your day, maybe you're having some anxious thoughts that are keeping you awake, or maybe you just want something to kind of help you transition from the rest of the day into the evening and to kind of tell your mind and your body that it is time to unwind and prepare for sleep. So we'll start by just finding a comfortable seat. If you haven't already, I'm sitting on a blanket. So I think if you want to sit on a blanket or a cushion to get more comfortable, that can be a great option. And just sit up tall, not too much effort here. Just find a good posture, shoulders relaxed down and back. And your eyes can be open or you may choose to gently close your eyes. And let's just take a deep breath in through your nose. And let a big sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> and let it go. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And then from here, we'll move into our steady rhythmic breath, your four count breath. Just gently breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in. And breathe out. And try as best as you can to stay with this steady rhythmic breath throughout your practice this evening. You might like to inhale last and exhale go if that resonates with you at this time. And just kind of unwinding, letting go of your day. Perhaps take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Maybe it's just to unwind, to give yourself permission to relax. And to recognize that rest is a very important part of our own health and well-being and sleep in particular is a part a really important role in staying healthy and living a healthy lifestyle so we have the energy and our brain and our body to focus and be our best during the daylight hours and during the things that we might attend to so really give yourself this time the space to get cozy and relax give yourself complete permission here to unwind and let go and maybe that's your intention or anything else that you're feeling called to focus on this evening so as you sit here with this breath and this intention you might choose to have a glass of water as well i always recommend that for our yoga practice go ahead 
ahead and open your eyes if you haven't already. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, stretch your fingertips up, big stretch. Exhale, send your left hand down to the floor, right arm reaches up and over into a side body stretch. Try your best to keep your right hip rooted down towards the earth. Inhale to come back up and exhale, other side. Say hi to Murphy if I haven't introduced my assistant yet. He loves to do yoga with me, especially, inhale, come back up to center, especially our relaxation yoga classes. Move from here, staying with your good posture, your upright spine, let your shoulders roll up by your ears and roll them down and back and just do that a few more times here, just gently taking your time releasing any stress on your shoulders from the day. And then just allow your shoulder blades to relax down your back. <coughs> Excuse me, inhale, tilt your chin up towards the ceiling. Feeling like a stretch along the front of your back and shoulders still relax down and back, still sitting with your upright spine. Inhale, come back up to neutral. Exhale, this time your chin to your chest, chest to your chin. This time feeling that stretch along the back of your neck. Shoulders relax down, still away from your ears. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just begin to slide your chin over toward your left shoulder. You can pause here if this feels good to you or maybe you tilt back a little bit if that feels okay on your neck little half rolls here. Eventually you'll make your way back through center and over to the other side. Same thing here. And don't force it any amount's fine. And we're just going to do a few more of these. So just take your time nice and easy. Nice and slow. And if you find an area that feels extra crunchy or extra tight, maybe you just pause and for a moment there and take a breath and honor that spot. Just let it feel good. not trying to prove anything right now. We're just trying to take care of our own health and well-being. And in your own time, Eventually, you'll make your way back through the center, and when you do, you can just lift your chin back up to neutral. And then from here, inhale, reach your arms overhead again, and exhale, just gently start to walk your hands out on the floor in front of you a little bit at a time. Any amount of fine, so you might be here. If you're on your bed, you know, be careful, make sure you're not like taking your hands over the ledge or anything. And maybe you go a little deeper, just making sure there isn't any tension or pain in your spine here. And just let your shoulders again relax, let your head release down. If you want, you could always put like a block or a pillow or something underneath your head for a little bit more support. And we're just going to take five breaths here. And pause in our seated forward fold. Look inward, maybe gently reflect on your day without judgment. But if your mind ever gets to wonder too much or it starts to cause you any kind of anxiety, just try to bring your awareness back to counting that steady four count breath to give your mind something to focus on. Take one more breath here, wherever you're at. If you're using a block, you can move that off to the side. Come back to your forward fold. We're just going to walk your hands gently over to your left side for a moment, feeling a nice stretch along the side of your body here. So just take a breath in and out. Now walk back through center and over to the right. Same thing here. And take a breath. And then walk it back to center. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, 
inhale, start to walk your hands back in towards your body and make your way back up to your neutral spine, back up to your seat for a moment. Take a moment here and you want to kind of shake your head yes, shake your head no, or shoulder rolls again, or just shake out any angle stretches or movement. You can take a moment to do that. And then we'll begin to uh, scoot off your blanket if you're sitting on one and just slide your feet back behind you and make your way onto your hands and knees. And again, if you're on your bed, you can do this on your bed as well. We're just going to come to our tabletop, to our hands and knees, and just do a few pat and cows. Inhale, look for our chest, like the chest is facing forward, expanding, abs towards the earth, relaxing for cow. And exhale gently into your head and you draw your navel into your spine and gaze down towards your navel, rounding into your back. Inhale, sway forward into your cow. Exhale to round into your cow. And just continue a few more of these at your own pace with your own breath. Make your way back to your tabletop or back to your hands and knees. And from here, inhale, send your left arm overhead. If you can, turn your gaze to look out over your left fingertips. Do a little twist. And then exhale, we're going to slide that left arm underneath, basically underneath your right armpit, okay? And then start to lower down to your right forearm and let your left shoulder relax towards the earth. Let your ear your head relaxed towards the earth. Let's come in to thread the needle. Try to keep your hips to level here as best as you can. Just feeling a nice gentle shoulder release. We'll take about three breaths here and pause. If your shoulder doesn't touch the floor, that's okay. Just place a blanket or pillow or something underneath that shoulder to uh, to kind of close out that space and bring the floor up to you. And then we'll come back up to tabletop once again. This time we'll do the same thing on the other side. Or thread the needle, inhale, take your right arm overhead. If you can, look out, turn to look out over your, your right fingertip. And exhale, we'll just slide that through underneath. And then start to lower to your left forearm and relax your shoulder, relax your head. Take a couple more breaths here. And then inhale, come back up to your tabletop or back up to your hands and from here, we're going to sink your seat to your heels for child's pose. I'm going to offer a few different variations of this. So the first option is just um, to go right into it. knees close together or apart and just come down into your child's pose, letting your forehead rest on your mat or on your bed. Maybe your arms are out in front of you. Maybe you're forming a little pillow with your hands. So that's one option. Another option, if you want to get extra cozy, is you could take, I have my bolster here, so you could take the bolster and place it out in front of you. Again, knees, I have my knees apart, but you could try to bring your knees closer together if you prefer that. And then gently lower your chest down onto the bolster. Let your arms rest to the side and rest, let your head rest to one side here on the bolster. Now, if you don't have a bolster, no big deal. That's why we have those pillows, which um, if you stack two pillows, like the ones I have right there that Murphy's using, um, you can get a similar effect. So please do feel free to try that. Finding a nice, relaxing, supportive child's pose, balasana, whatever that looks like for you. I'm actually going to hold this a little bit longer tonight uh, because it's more of a yin practice, a more passive or restorative yoga practice. Here. So if you do have pillows or something, I do highly recommend.
recommend it. And of course, you can always come out of a post sooner than I suggest at any time that you wish. Otherwise, I'll take a couple more minutes here to really sink into this pose. Feel the release in your back, your shoulders, wherever you might be feeling a release here in your body. And again, let your mind relax as well. Give yourself permission to do that. Continue to breathe in. Breathe out. Just take this quiet space to yourself. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. And you can always come back to just counting, staying with your breath if your thoughts start to get a little bit too carried away or too much while we're here. Or you might feel free to daydream a little bit. Or just get closer and closer, if you're, especially if you're really tired. You can just get closer and closer to falling asleep. completely surrender here without really putting too much effort just let your body release down and be supported by the prop or earth beneath you Couple more easy breaths here. And as you're ready, begin to press down to the palms with your hands. Move any pillows off to the side for right now. Out of your way, make your way forward back to your table. Off or back to your hands and knees. Or just make any stretches or movements that feel good to you here. So you might shift your hips a little from side to side. Maybe you, oh, maybe you stretch your legs a little bit. Just whatever feels good, whatever you're feeling here. Not anything goes. Just kind of tuning into your body and what it wants after we held that pose for a little longer today. And then from here, just sitting on your knees, we'll walk your hands back towards your body and just come to a seat on your knees if this feels okay to you. Maybe you put something under your knees for a little bit extra support. And then from here, we're just going to cut lift up onto your knees, knees stacked over your hips. Take your hands to your waist, shoulders roll down back. Start to squeeze your shoulder blades together as you bring your hips forward and open up through your chest for a little baby back bend here. Making sure, you know, we don't want to be pinching your lower spine. So it's a little mini cam modified camel. Do one more breath in and out. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your hands, release your arms. And we're just going to pass through a seat and get ready to make your way down onto your back. So, with your knees bent in front of you and your feet on the floor, we're just going to lower all the way down on to your back. Take your arms out to a T or a cactus, working with whatever amount of space that you have. And we'll just start to walk your hips a tiny bit over to the left and slide your knees over to the right. And 
then optional here. Sometimes you might find it helpful to place a hand on that top knee for a little extra support. Or maybe you'll look out over your left shoulder. If that creates any kind of discomfort or strain on your neck at all, then don't do it. Just look up towards the ceiling and that is perfectly a good option. <laughs> Another thing you might like to do is place a blanket. If there's any space between your elbow and the floor or mattress or whatever, you might slide a blanket underneath the elbow just to kind of close out any space. Um, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you or with your body. We just all are shaped a little differently and it would be more comfortable um, to place something there to close out that space. Another thing you might like to do is place a blanket or block or pillow or something in between your knees. Sometimes that can be helpful as well. I'm going to be a little different for everyone. Feel free to put a blanket over your body while you're in this pose for a little extra comfort as well. We come into a little reclined twist. I'm right, just going to spend about a minute here and just pause. From here, I'm just kind of giving props, you might just kind of slide those out so you can bring your knees back to center. Take a moment here, just let your back rest on the floor. And then we'll move into this recline twist on the other side. So just begin to um, slide your hips out over to your right side this time and slide your knees out over to the left. Again, optional to add any props here, maybe underneath your shoulder or in, uh, in between your knees, or you can put a big blanket on top of your knees to pull a little weight there to help support you or your hand. Maybe you look out over your right shoulder, but only if that feels good to you. Remember, this is your practice. This one especially is meant to be a very kind, calming, nurturing practice. So there's no need here to push yourself in any way. And we'll stay here for about another minute or so and just relax into this. I'm just going to give you a little quiet time in this pose on your own. Center, maybe with a show up your knees a little from side to side, or give your knees a little hug in towards your chest to kind of use the floor or your bed or whatever to gently massage your spine. So now we'll make our way back to a place where we're lying on your back with your knees bent in front of you and your feet on the floor. If you have a strap or scarf or belt or anything 
now's the time to grab that. If you don't, I'll show you a way to do it without that as well. So first thing we will need it for is um, just bring your right knee in towards your chest. Um, place your right foot on your left thigh and just gently slide that right knee out away from your body to open, get, create a little stretch or opening in your hip. Option one is to stay right here if this is feeling good to you. It's what it looks like. Option two, if you want to go a little deeper, you can lift that front foot and then just reach your hands for your hamstrings. Try to keep that right knee out away from your body. Feet both flats, coming into a little reclined pigeon. This is a great option for pigeon pose for anyone who maybe has some knee issues um, because this one does not involve compression on the knees like the other kind of more traditional facing down pigeon pose does, which we sometimes do as well. They're both great poses, just in different ways. But for tonight, keep it real chill, just lying down in our bed or on our mat. And kind of gently stretch out our legs, open our hip in this way. Let's take one more breath in. And then exhale, release that front foot if you haven't already. And then we'll bring your right knee in towards your body. And this is the part where if you have that strap or similar object, we're gonna grab that, unwind it if you haven't already. And just slide that underneath like the center or the arch of your foot. And then from here, you're gonna work to extend your foot and just hold on to the strap and kind of bring your leg in a little bit so we can, we're looking for a stretch along your hamstring to the back of your leg. Now, we don't wanna overstretch it, so you wanna make sure, you know, if there's any pain or anything, then back off. Don't, there's no need to force it. Ideally, you are around the 90 degree angle, but if you're not there, yeah, if you're maybe more like here or here or something, that's totally fine. That just means that this is a good one for you to practice at home. So, take a few moments here. Try to hold the strap with your hands low enough so your shoulders can still rest towards the earth. And just let your foot gently relax into the strap. Again, it's not too much work. We're just getting a nice stretch. Gonna take about five more breaths here. Bring your knee back in towards you, release the strap, and then lower your foot down and stretch that leg out and just notice how it feels. It can feel a little different than your other leg now. And then we'll bring it back in, knees bent in front, feet on the floor. And then on the other side, this time we'll bring your left knee in towards your chest. Place your left foot on your right thigh, slide that knee out away from your body. Of course, option one is to stay right here or option two, lift your foot and bring your hands to your hamstring. Now, another thing you do here, if you wanna do this, but it's hard to reach, you could take that strap as well and slide it underneath that hamstring and then just kind of hold on to the strap and use that um, to bring it in towards you as well if it's hard to reach. That's another option here as well that you can try. Different things work for different people. Take one more breath in. Feel the opening, feel a release of tension in your body, perhaps a release of tension in your mind. Exhale, release that front foot if you haven't already. And we'll bring your left knee in towards your chest. Grab your strap. If you don't have a strap, you can just grab the back of your leg here. I meant to say that on the other side. Um, so grab your strap, place it around the center of your foot, and then work to extend your leg and holding the strap low enough so your shoulders can relax. And if you don't have a strap, it'll just look more like this. You can just reach for your hamstring and gently bring it in so you still get that stretch. So no big deal either way, it'll work. Take about three or four more breaths here. breath in, we'll bring your knee back in, 
release the strap off to the side and release your foot down and stretch your leg out. Maybe shake it out a little bit and notice how it feels. And then we'll bring your knee back in. If you want to take a moment to stretch both of your legs, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, or, you know, either way or otherwise, we'll just come back to your knees bent in front of you, feet on the floor when you're ready. And just roll over to one side and briefly come up to a seat. So we're going to move into, as we start to come towards uh, the end of the practice, closer to Shavasana. Um, the last pose before Shavasana I'm going to show you guys is one of my all-time favorite rest and relaxation poses. So I'm going to show you different variations. This one is really um, helpful to have props, but if you don't have props, there's a way to do it without as well. I like to use a bolster, um, but you can do it with pillows as well. I will show you a bunch of different options for this one. So we're going to come into something called Sutta Baddha Konasana, a reclined bound angle. It is one of my all-time favorite yoga poses, especially if you're just feeling like you're on vacation or something. And just completely, complete relaxation. So what you'll do is sit with your knees bent in front of you and your feet on the floor and place the bolster right at the base of your spine. If you want, you can do this with me or you can just watch me show the different options and then go into whichever one is going to work for you. Um, so either way is fine. I'm going to go through a bunch of different options and then we'll take some time to sit to hold the pose for a little bit and relax into it. So anyway, knees bent in front of you, feet on the floor. You'll have a, if you have a bolster, you'll place the bolster right at the base of your spine. Or if you have pillows, I'll show you with a similar option with that in a minute here. I like to place a blanket on top of the bolster as well, kind of like a pillow. And it also helps sometimes you come into this pose, your chin can be tilting upward and it's kind of um, can feel not so great on your neck. So it kind of helps keep your head and neck in alignment with your spine. And grab your blocks if you have them. If you don't have them, we'll improvise, okay? And we'll show that in a minute too. We're gonna let your knees fall off the side, bringing your soles of your feet together. And just place the blocks underneath your knees to close out any space between your knees and the floor. And you'll see here, if you don't have a block, you could also just use, like, you could take a blanket and just kind of fold it up or roll it up or something, or even take, like, a pillow, slide it in there, like, like there's with that pillow, like, just kind of fold it in half, and then put it underneath there. It works just as well, okay? Inhale, sit up to a length in your spine. And then exhale to very slowly start to lower all the way down on to your bolster. And can't, you want to take your time doing this because we're going into a pretty deep back bend. So you want to make sure it feels okay. If there's any pinching or pain that come out of the pose. And then from here, you know, if you need to wiggle around or adjust a little bit, you can't. Otherwise, you'll lie down and just let your shoulders relax down, arms rest to the side. <sighs> and then it's paradise. You're in the pose. So that's one option. The other option is if you don't have a bolster, if you have a bolster, I would say recommend to use the bolster if that feels okay on your back. But if you don't have the bolster, I'm going to show you if you have some pillows, how you can modify this in your bed or at home. Excuse me, Murphy, I got to take them away. bolster thank you okay so then you would take your pillows and it might not be perfect or exact but you take your pillow a long way so we're going to kind of make shift the bolster and put the other pillow up on top of it you might even need a third pillow okay just depending on how your pillows are come to your seat knees bent in front feet on the floor take your pillows kind of like a bolster place them at the base of right at the base of your spine take your knees out to the side Place a block or stand an item under your knees if you can. Inhale, lengthen your spine first, set up tall. And then again, exhale, slowly lower down a little bit at a time on to your back. Make sure it feels okay. And then rest yourself. In this case, I would probably ideally put my blanket underneath my head. So you can kind of play around with it here so that my head has a little bit more support. If you want to be feeling comfortable in the pose. There. You can even like try to like, fold it off the blanket. 
like in years you can do that. Again, it doesn't even have to be this kind of blanket for that to work either. And then you rest it, rest into it that way. It's another variation. is to extend your arm stretch and back towards the wall behind you or supta baddha konasana climb down ankle now i will say with this variation just on the floor you're not really getting the back bend in this one but you're still getting a nice hip opener a nice stretch in your thighs and a nice release on your back and a good stretch so whatever variation if it starts to feel bad on your knees um if you don't have anything underneath your knees you could always vary it and just bend your knees again with your feet on the floor. Either way, we're just going to take a couple more minutes here for complete relaxation and enjoyment of the pose. Come back to your breath if needed and come back to your intention. go winding down a night deep restful sleep take about one more minute here of course, you can come out sooner if you want. Otherwise, just try to relax, enjoy it. If you start thinking thoughts about tomorrow and things like that, just try to come back to the present moment. Notice how this pose feels on your back. How it feels on your legs. Feel any support from any props, cushions, blankets, or anything underneath or around you at this moment. Take a couple more breaths here. And then as you're ready, just bring your knees back together very gently and then bring your knees back together and then depending on which variation you're in so if you don't have anything underneath you then obviously it's going to feel a little different but either way I just kind of gently roll over on one side so roll if you either are just on your back you'll just roll over to one side almost like you're coming into fetal pose if you have uh, bolster or different things Underneath you, gently roll off of those and just gently push those to the side. Taking your time here, just being very gentle with your body um, because we are coming out of a pretty deep back bend. And then once you have any props or anything under from underneath you out of the way, 
Just gently make your way back down to your back. And this time give your knees a little hug in towards your chest. I really encourage you if it feels good to rock a little from side to side, almost like you're giving yourself a little, little bit of a sort of a back massage type of thing with the floor. And then as you're ready, begin to Lower your feet down to the floor. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms back behind you for a full body stretch. Take one more big breath in through your nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. As you release your arms down to the side. And rest here, moving in, making any final movements or adjustments that you'd like to make to get comfortable for a corpse pose or shavasana. Final pose of practice symbolizes kind of the death of our practice. It could almost be a, a gateway today to transitioning from being awake to being asleep, giving your body this time to rest and gently absorb all the benefits of the postures that we practice tonight. So get comfortable. Some things I like to do sometimes or um, you can, you'll be lying on your back. You can stand your legs out in front of you. Sometimes I like to place a bolster or a pillow or something underneath my knees to just kind of reduce any pinching or pain in my back. I put a blanket or pillow underneath your head. I have like some kind of pillow there. It can be nice as well. Maybe you even put a blanket on top of your body. Maybe this is you getting ready to transition into sleep right from this practice, especially if you're doing this in your bed. And just lie here. Arms can be to the side or on your chest or belly, whatever's feeling good to you. Okay, let your eyes gently close, give them time to rest. Let your eyelids feel heavy. To return back to your natural breath. Let your back relax against the floor. Shoulders rest against the earth. Releasing all physical efforts from your mind, from your body. Taking this time to relax completely. And rest in Shavasana. <coughs> Tell the crown of your head your forehead, eyes, cheeks, jaw, to relax. Neck, shoulder, upper back and chest. Relax. Mid back. Abdomen. Lower back. Thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes.
front of your body, back of your body, full body, all relaxed. If you'd like, please feel free to stay here and transition into sleep. Stay lying down like this, there's no need to get up. You just let your eyes close as you gently drift to sleep. If you're just lying down for bed, but maybe you have a few more things to do to get ready for bed, then you might gently bring your knees in towards your chest, be an optional, and gently roll over, actually go ahead and roll over to your left side tonight for a restful fetal pose and just stay here for a couple more moments. A good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures for anything. And that's an Irish proverb. And then if you do need to get back up to do a few more things this evening, just mindfully begin to make your way back up to your seat and as you do so just take a brief moment here of gratitude towards yourself for coming to this practice and I'll gently bring your hands to your heart you can do this lying down if you'd like as well if you want to stay lying on your back may you rest well and get really good quality, comfy, restorative sleep. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you found it helpful anytime you need a little extra rest or relaxation or help winding down, perhaps from a stressful day or just feeling a little bit too frazzled or too high energy. Um, and then you can come back to this practice at any time. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed as always take really good care of yourself and remember there's never any guilt or involved or anything wrong with taking time for you to relax and to get the rest that you need. Good night.